Here we have a factoring problem. The factoring problem gets pretty difficult when the coefficient is not a one. And here I'm gonna show you a trick way how to do this one. Okay, we're gonna enter an imaginary world where you multiply three to the 14. So it becomes, I'm gonna draw a box. So this is not really the one we're factoring, but it's gonna help us to get the answer. Okay, minus 14 times three. Okay, I'm gonna write one more step so it's easier to factor this one because as the number gets bigger and bigger, it gets more and more difficult to find the numbers. All right, so I'm factoring this one. As I, all I did it was write 14 as 2 times 7. So uh, to factor this one, it's pretty easy. I have x minus 6, x plus uh, 7, because it's a 42. Let's see. 14 times 3 is 42. Okay. So six and seven here. Here's the trick. Once you got into the box, you got the original form. When you come out the box, before you can get the answer, which we are writing in the pen, here's what you have to do. You're gonna substitute this x into a three x, okay? That's the same answer, but you're gonna write three x instead. This is a critical step. Now you notice three x times three x is gonna be nine x squared. And we started with a three x squared. So I'm gonna divide by three. And you simplify from here, you get the answer of x minus two times three x plus seven. That's your answer. Let's check so make sure we got it, the answer back. So I have a three x squared, okay, plus seven x. I'm gonna have minus six x and minus 14. That's exactly what we started with, okay, so. I did the FOIL method over here and to check it, the answer. I'm going to write a check, okay? So 3x squared uh, plus x minus 14, this is where we started. So indeed, this is the answer. All right, have a confident day.